What's up out there? Chris at Team Aquascape, good morning. The boys and I are in here early because we are setting up for our last home show of the year. My eyes are a little puffy. Maybe I should have done like those cucumber, maybe a facial. It's exactly like the one you saw in our home show episode. And if you haven't, check out the link below. Again, guys, it's a kit that we can put it together pretty seamlessly, quickly. This is a really, really fun show because there's a lot of foot traffic. So we have high interaction and engagement with the people attending the show. It's just a way for us to show off our fountainscapes, small pondless waterfalls, entry-level water features to people who maybe necessarily haven't heard of Aquascape or aren't familiar with the Aquascape lifestyle. Really cool venue. Uh, it's actually like a sport court. The boys are here. We got all of our product. Pulled. We've got the rock outside. We're gonna start pulling trucks around. Good morning, gang. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All of our stuff. Of course, we have our aqua blocks for our, our reservoirs on uh, the three different areas. And we've got product, mulch, mulch. Looks like we got our driftwood hoses in there. Here's our enclosures. Nicholas and Juan are hooking up the truck and trailer, which is fantastic. Let's walk out here. Super, super important piece right there. Brought it from my house. TV is a super important piece to our booth. It's, it allows us to show all of our lifestyle videos, product videos, to give people kind of a frame of reference for what Aquascape is and does, the value we provide the life of our customers. A couple challenges, loading everything up. Unfortunately, we are down our box truck, which is what we counted on the last home show to make everything in one solid trip. So we're kind of having to re-engineer the wheel a little bit, figure out how we can get everything onto the Isuzu open trailer, as well as my truck, got the basalt rocks heading in right there. And we still have two containers over here, that container, that container of mulch. We also have all of our plants that we need to pick up from Wasco Nursery. It is going to be a challenge. Nicholas, I did get a call from Jenna. She said we can't start building until 10 a.m. <laughs> What are we doing? We're going, arm We're going over the top style? Yeah. Don't hold on to the table. All right, just your leg. Ready? Go. I think we're wrapped up with just about everything. The only thing we, we really don't have loaded is a pallet of mulch that we're gonna probably end up having to come back for at the same trip we, when we go get the plants. Everything else is loaded down. Kind of going through our last list of things. Nick had a few things written down that he remembered that we were missing that we don't want to get there and realize we don't have because then we have to make a trip. And being that we are only five guys doing this today instead of our normal eight, we're gonna be on a time crunch and we're really gonna be humping today. You guys ready to roll? Yes? Yes, everybody's ready to roll? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. What do you think, Nicholas? Cat to the rescue. <laughs> what a hater. Cat to the rescue. Ah! So we've got Nick and Juan heading out. Jerry and Micho are in the transit. You got something to say to the camera today? No, mm -hmm. tengo hambre. That's why he doesn't drive, so he can eat. In case anybody wants to get a hold of us, 630-659-2057, Aquascape Construction Gata! There she goes. Toro Dingo. Mm -hmm. Booyah. The queen, there she goes. And now, take my baby, and we'll get the heck out of here. Boom. Doing home shows, it's always fun, right? Like it's enjoyable, we're always having to think on our feet, use our heads. <laughs> so a couple challenges that we have, obviously, is access. Another is we're down a few guys today because they're out making us money. 
vehicle. So we're down our box truck, which stinks. Logistically, we're having to get everything unloaded on our Isuzu and trailer and our transits. And then we have to go use those same vehicles to go pick up plants and some more mulch because we couldn't do everything in one trip. This is our staging area, right? We have to be very conscious that we have other things going on. It's not our show. So our booth space is back here. So you can see all the pipe and drape guys are starting to kind of mark out the floors um, where all the other booths are going to be. But we want to get stuff done as uh, efficiently as possible and as quickly as possible. Fortunately, we got in here a little bit early. We're going to get rocking and rolling here. We've got the trailer unloaded. We're going to start setting up the booth. Let's go. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Is there something? Is there something you need right there? So you feeling good about where we're at? I think we're in great shape. It's not even noon yet, and we're almost like halfway. We're cooking through. We're cooking. We're right cooking. Now. And we're and we've got what one, two, three, four, five guys. Five guys. And last time we had what eight? Right. We got the basalt rocks in. Right. So we just got a backfill around that. Uh, you and Nick finished the plumbing on this, and then Jerry, you and Juan, you guys got the plumbing done. Yes. Yeah. Righteous. We are in great shape. Not quite sure what Nick's doing. I think he's lost. From last home show to this home show, as of right now, we are way ahead of where we were at the last one. Well, that's a show of experience right there. Right? I'll kind of give you a midday update here. We are waiting on a pizza to take our lunch break. Jerry and uh, Micho got this wall sphere set up pretty well. We're just waiting on plants right now. Got the basalt columns right here by yours truly. And these guys are going to town over here on the Palmas waterfall. It's looking great. So as you can tell by Nick stringing up his backpack and Micho grabbing the shop bag, it is a wrap. We finished up right at five o'clock. Not bad. It was almost easier with less people, I would say. You knocked out the basalt columns, knocked it out of the park. You can see the, the stack slate collection over here. We've got the spillway wall and the stack slate sphere. Looks amazing. Square patio pond with the toucan spitter. And we got our waterfalls. A little bit different look than the last time. Nick and I were just talking. The other one felt a little bit more condensed. This one's a little bit stretched further back, I guess. I think I like it more. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. I had some new plants brought in. We got a Japanese maple. We got some willows. We got a nice little arborvitae. All courtesy of Wasco Nursery. Did a fantastic job. Juan, why are you walking away? What'd you get? My froggy. Who's that for? Is that for Axel or Ethan or Isabella? For me. For you. <laughs> <laughs> what, two years in a row now, you've gotten something out of the claw machines. He's a winner. That guy right there is a winner. I had to pause for a second because yeah, we, need, we need to needed needed to think about, about it. We're a big team of winners. Um, I don't know where Micho's at, but how many did you get? Three. Three. Oh my gosh. It takes a team of winners to pull something like this off. It's a wrap, guys. I think uh, the show was fairly successful. It sounds like Roy got seven or eight leads today, steering them back towards the retail store and signed them up for consultations, so that's fantastic. We handed out a lot of literature. You see, I got my wild man, Frankie, next to me. Oh, look at all, these leads. Look at all those leads, yep. It always pays to get in front of your customer base. This is a local show, very well ran. They pump a lot of money into their ad campaign, driving a lot of people from this area to this show. Show them you know, what small entry level water features like the Stack Slate collection behind me, the waterfall, or even the basalt rocks can look like in their backyard. And really just letting them dip their feet into the water feature lifestyle. Just all those little things just really, really help fill our revenue stream for our upcoming season. Greg is always famous for saying uh, everybody wants a water feature they just don't know it yet. I would say that that is 100% true. Setting up a booth like this definitely shows people a water feature can enhance their backyard. Now it's 
the fun part. The demo. <laughs> he thinks so, but we'll see how many rocks he actually lifts with those little man muscles. So good thing we got help. So we're gonna start pulling plants out and get this show knocked down. empty right we've got Jerry just kind of vacuuming up some of the remaining gravel and some of the mulch great job pal great great job that was fast I think it was all because of this dude it's pretty awesome when it's not necessarily bring your kid to work day but bringing your kid to work <laughs> that's what we do around here we, we teach them young Beecho hey great job pal Jerry boom nice work nice job buddy nice job <laughs> 